Hey Wolfpack, Katie Belusa here, coordinator of wellness programs for wellness and recreation. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about boundaries and what it means to have boundaries and why having strong boundaries is actually one of the ultimate forms of self-care. And so you've probably heard the term self-care before. And really what all that really means is care for you, by you. And so it's anything we deliberately do to take care of our own well-being. And so some different forms of self-care that you might think of are going for a run or a walk, so exercise, eating a balanced nutritious diet, getting enough sleep, taking a bubble bath, spending time with friends, and these are all great forms of self-care. But a form of self-care that we don't really talk about has to do with boundaries. And so before I go any deeper, boundaries in the simplest terms is anything that we establish to protect ourselves. And so when we think about boundaries, we might think of a physical boundary, maybe a wall, something. A boundary, an emotional boundary, a physical boundary, there are a lot of different types of boundaries that we create and maintain, and they're all really important. And so in a sense, boundaries are the ultimate form of self-care because they really dictate what we allow and what we don't allow. And so, for example, one of the most commonly heard things I hear from students is, it's really hard to say no. There's always a thousand things to do, right? I always wanna do this, or I always feel pulled in one direction. And the healthiest thing to do is to set a boundary and practice saying no more often. And so that's just one small example. Um, when you set boundaries, you really are communicating with other people, hey, that's not okay, right? It's, it's the behaviors, that you're willing to tolerate and what you're not willing to tolerate, but it's also prioritizing yourself and your time. And so sometimes setting boundaries can be really hard for some people, and some people it comes really naturally, right? Um, if you're somebody who struggles with setting boundaries, know that you're not alone. A lot of us really struggle with that. Um, but a few things to keep in mind are that if you don't have strong boundaries, you might have people take advantage of you. Um, you're more likely to burn out and you're also less likely to have enough you time. And so making sure that you're setting appropriate boundaries is really, really important. It might take some practice. So a few things that you can start doing today to have more effective boundaries that really keep your own health and well-being in mind. Say no to more things. You don't have to go out just because your friends want you to. You don't have to say yes to that extra project just because you feel bad or you want something, you want to make sure it gets done, right? We've probably all felt these things, but it's time to start really thinking about what you need, right? What is it that you need right in this moment? And oftentimes it involves saying no to additional things. So practice saying no more often, be assertive and confident when you tell people no and you should also know that if you don't like the way somebody has been treating you or you're always anxious or worried about a relationship that you have, it's okay to let that person know when things are not okay with you. So make sure that you look out for yourself, keep yourself in mind. It's okay to be selfish sometimes um, because really that is our greatest defense in caring for ourselves. And we can't pour from an empty cup, right? We can't give if we're not giving to ourselves first. So make sure that you're setting some boundaries, maybe reflect a little bit, think through, you know, what are some areas in your life where you think you struggle with creating boundaries? Write those down and then start practicing. So uh, I hope that's helpful for everybody watching this video. If you have any other questions or wanna learn more about taking care of yourself, creating boundaries, and a whole lot of other topics, um, please reach out to our department. We have lots and lots of resources available to help you live your happiest and healthiest life.